Musicians Realty Trust. Ticker symbol is DOC. Currently costs $11 a share. It pays 23 cents per share four times a year. That's a dividend yield close to 8% at the moment. So I started my position on the 19th of October of 2021 and I am now 25% down. The next ex-dividend date for this company is the 2nd of January. We just had one about two weeks ago. But I have a very small position in this company. Going to have to add to it pretty soon. And as far as I can see, it doesn't look like they're in too bad of a spot. Now it is a healthcare real estate investment trust. So high interest rates tend to affect REITs very badly. But from the brief look that I had, they don't look to be in too bad of a position and they have an awful lot of properties in their portfolio. They have 277 properties in 32 states in America. And if you want to see what that looks like in real time, you can check their website, which is here. All of the blue dots on the map are the properties in the portfolio. This is a very good idea. I like this very much. But they are certainly widespread, as you can see. So it's a self-managed healthcare real estate company. So they acquire, develop, own, and manage healthcare properties is the easiest way to put it. Physicians, hospitals, healthcare delivery systems. But they're not a particularly huge company. 101 employees now. They're certainly not tiny, but not extraordinarily big. The value of the company on the stock market, which is the market cap, is $2.7 billion. They have a PE ratio of 53, but it is important to remember that for REITs, that doesn't really clarify a huge amount. It wouldn't be as useful as the PE ratio of the stock. Their current revenue is about half a million dollars, has a positive earnings per share, but just 22 cents, and a nice dividend yield close to 8%. There's a brief financial summary here. I'll leave that up if you want to have a look at it. But their annual profit margin over the last year is 20%. Over the last quarter is about 10%. Still positive, not fantastic, but not the worst. Their debt to assets over the last year is 43%. That's pretty good. And over the last quarter is about the same, 46%. Looks like both their assets and their liabilities went up in the second quarter of this year. And their annual cash flow from operating is $250 million. From investing is negative $40 million. And from financing is negative $222 million. So the pain for this company could just be beginning. But as I said at the start, I've heard many, many times that High interest rate markets affect REITs very badly. So Physicians Realty Trust was founded in 2013 and that's as far as this graph goes back to. So this is a good scale of the whole process start to finish. And by the looks of it, if you bought in in the beginning and you didn't sell, you would be back where you are now. Now, of course, there is dividends along the way, but it's not nice to think about if you bought something 20 years ago and falls back down to the value you bought it. That's one downside of my own strategy of not selling anything is there is always an appropriate time to sell. But we'll see what happens for them over the long run. Based on this and based on what I think is going to happen in the future, it could hit all-time lows. You know, Once it drops a few more cents, it's back to where it was in the very beginning. But anyway, the year's range is $11.35 on the low side, and we're now at $11.70. So it's near the cheapest it's been in a year. And the highest it's been in the last year is $16.34. By the looks of it, the highest it ever was was $21.80 in 2016. So it's another one that's full of mysteries. On the dividend front though, it pays four times a year. It seems to pay 23 cents per share at the moment. And they don't seem to be very consistently raising it. Now that's perfectly understandable at the moment because they're probably not having a very good time. But they were founded in 2013 and then they paid 18 cents per share. They bumped it up to 22.5 cents a share and they've paid that. Then up until 2017, started paying 23 cents a share. So they upped it by half a cent and it's been like that since then. So it's certainly not a dividend growth stock. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't be the most impressive history I've ever seen, but they're going to do what they have to do to survive. Now, thankfully, my position is very small. It's one of my smallest. I put in four euro and it's gone down 25%. So at least I can invest a little more into it at a much better price. And as usual, hope for the best. But just to summarize quickly, ticker symbol is DOC. It pays 23 cents a share four times a year, as long as they continue to do so. One share will cost you $11 at the moment, which is close to the lowest it's been in a year. And if you want to get in for the next dividend, the X dividend date is the 2nd of January of 2024. The profit margin over the last quarter is about 10% and their debt is also quite good, about 43% debt to assets ratio. So let me know if you hold Physicians Realty Trust. It seems like a lot of REITs, they're all having an awful time, but it is important to scoop up dips when they come.